Hello, this is Stephanie from mypastorcmaexam.com. Today, we'll compare the average salary of certified management accountants versus that for non-CMAs. The Institute of Management Accountants has published the first global salary survey in June 2014. There has been an annual survey in the U.S. and a biannual one in China and the Middle East. This is the first time for them to gather data on a global basis. This report is based on more than 1,200 respondents, of which 1,074 responses are considered usable. In my opinion, this is by far the latest and the most reliable set of accountant salary data. Around 70% of respondents are male in this year's survey. The medium age is 42 years old, and 40% of them work in middle management. Almost all of them have bachelor degrees, and many of them have advanced degrees. Half of the respondents are CMAs, and the rest are IMA members who are likely pursuing the certification. Let's take a look at a CMA versus non-CMA salary by region. Here is a graph showing the average salary level of CMAs in different regions. As you can see, the range is quite big as a result of different cost of living, demand for accounting professionals, and exchange rates at the time of the analysis. The US and Europe has the highest salary level of $150,000. The Middle East respondents have an average salary of $47,000. And for Asia, the average is $33,000. When compared to the salary level of non-CMAs, which is shown in blue, certified management accountants around the world earn considerably more than their peers. The percentage premium is surprisingly similar at 31 to 39%. This shows that the benefit of getting CMA is similar even though the absolute dollar amount of salary varies in different countries. CMA versus non-CMA salary by age. Here is another graph showing the comparison by age. Interestingly, younger CMAs get substantially higher salary. A possible reason is that young professionals who possess such certifications are short in supply and high in demand. The salaries of non-CMAs have a smaller range. In other words, age doesn't have that much of an impact for non-CMAs. Because of this, you will see that there is a huge 91% premium of CMA versus non-CMA average salary for those who are 90 to 29 years old. The premium shrinks to a smaller but still substantial 37% for the 30 to 39 age group. The premium is the smallest for the 40 to 49 age group at 15% and the percentage rebounds to 23% for those who are 50 and older. The IMA Global Salary Survey also includes interesting questions for the CMAs. For example, most CMAs believe that the title strengthens the negotiation power on salary discussions. As many as 70% of CMAs in the Middle East agree. At the same time, almost 80% agree that the CMA certificate creates new career opportunities for them. In terms of cost-benefit analysis, it costs around $2,000 to obtain the CMA certificate. The benefits of increased salary and career opportunities far exceed this cost. In conclusion, for those who pursue an accounting career, getting a CMA has clear benefits. The impact is the biggest at younger age because the salary premium is cumulative. Also, young CMAs are in great demand and they can command a much higher starting salary than non-CMAs. It is important to note that the CMA certification cannot guarantee jobs. Other factors, such as a well-crafted resume and good interview skills, are equally if not more important. I hope this video gives you a general idea on how much a certified management accountant can earn, 
and the difference of salary level between CMAs and non-CMAs. There are country-specific salary analysis on my site for the U.S., Middle East, India, and China. Please scroll down and click on the respective links for details. Feel free to drop a note in the comment section if you have any questions. Or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.